Hi. Today we're going to be working on yet another dead MacBook. This is a MacBook Air. It is Friday night. It's 9.36 on a Friday. It's a perfect time to fix a MacBook. Running a business in New York is expensive. You're constantly being ripped off by everybody. So you need to make as much money as you can off of another company that's ripping off their end users. Let's take a look at this MacBook and see what's wrong with it. Here we have the MacBook. This is a MacBook Air. This MacBook Air is crooked because I hung the camera crooked. Paul has just taken my nice clean mat and given me a dirty one. Similar to, similar to what I do every single day. I usually take nice things and I may give them to Paul once they're no longer nice things. This is karma. My girlfriend wants to pick, purchase a Mac. What do you recommend I'm against it? Have you considered a new girlfriend? Extreme times call for extreme measures. We will now have time to do more live streams because the customer service section has been moved again with a new customer service agent who sits right over here. Everybody say hello to my customer service person who's not here right now because it's Friday night and they went home. Check it out. The beautiful front of my store. This is, this is it, folks. For all those people that go, wow, I'd love to see what this beautiful store looks like. Oh my, I'm so impressed. This is the dump that I do business out of. Still impressed? That's what I thought. If you are impressed by this, let's just say you're not impressed by much. This is my store. This is my dump. This is what I call home. And that is the new air conditioner that I wasted over $700 on. About three or $400 to get it installed. And about 70 bucks to bring back here because my old one died on the hottest day of the fucking year. How's it going? So, we can open up this MacBook and see what's going on inside of it. MacBook. MacBook. We're gonna steal some of Olga's magnets because she's not here. And what she doesn't know can't hurt her. It looks like the screws have already been taken out of this MacBook that needs to be fixed. So I don't have to. That's great. That's beautiful. I order greenies from Mr. Clinton and Joy Clinton. Thank you very much to Copaz, Justin Millman, JP, and Blur for their greenies that they ordered for my cat. Okay. He will, because he's a Clinton. And that's what Clintons do. So, we're going to plug this in and see what happens. What's going on with this MacBook? Oh, wow. It's taking 200 milliamps and then 20. And then 200 and then 20. That's no good. Ugh. Let's get the board out of the case and see if it's still doing the same thing once the board is out of the case. What do you think of MSI laptops? MSI laptops solder the DC and jack onto the motherboard, which is just so primitive and so lame that I cannot have respect for them. I know, you want me to give a review of well, the, the specs and the price-performance ratio and the thermals and all that other stuff. But when I see something that's that basically and fundamentally wrong, I just lose all interest in the rest of what it is that they're doing. If they got something that basic wrong, just GTFO my store. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to see it. Goodbye. You're dead to me. You're fucking dead to me. Also going to drink a little bit of water. It's good to drink water throughout the day. Stay healthy. Paul Daniels is here. Paul Daniels, my favorite programmer. Everybody check out pldaniels.com to check out Australia's best programmer. It looks like this MacBook is going from 20 milliamps to 200 milliamps and power cycling on and off. And we're going to try to see why that is. There's a spider that just jumped out of this MacBook. Holy shit. OMG. Die. Oh wow, he's inside the MacBook now. There's no stopping this fucker. What? Okay, he's under the- oh god. Get the fuck out of this MacBook. Get the fuck out of my- Apple. We are closed. It's noon. There is no way you are closed. Where's my alcohol container? What the hell? Okay, what else are we gonna find in this piece of shit? There's fucking bugs coming out of it. It was a, it was a scary spider. 
Oh, the spider jumped out of this MacBook and it tried to attack me. It started running and dashing for me. You found the bug. You got the bug out. You're good. Okay, now, th so that means that this machine is most likely going to not be be, wor uh, be not working due to spider shit. Which means it's going to go on the Paul status. Alright, let's go through this board and see if we can find out what's wrong with it. My, my. The spider did take quite a shit on this board. Must have had some of the chana masala with all that spicy stuff from the place near me. We're gonna find some Q-tips. Are we gonna Q-tip off this spider shit? In spider pee, in spider poo. Much spider poo. Have a good evening. Enjoy your weekend. Paul, as always, thanks for everything. I'll have Paul first filled by the beginning of the day. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll work through it tomorrow. Uh, I All right, so what we're going to do over here is reflow this stuff. This is where the water got. Give it a nice happy reflow. And we're gonna make this board great. Again. Aren't you happy that this board is gonna be made happy again? Functioning again. Mmm. MacBook. And Nell is in the chat. He's the employee that dared to exercise his rights by going on a vacation. Everybody say boo to an L for exercising his rights to go on vacation. What a bum. Bum. Everybody yell boo. Heckle that an L in the chat as the lethal one. Give him some quality heckling. Let him know that we don't believe in rights here at Rossman Repair. That two-bit lazy bastard. Indeed, hi hi, this is Ross on Repair, powered by CSAT Solutions. This company doesn't care about your filthy rights. We only care about how many MacBooks it is that you can fix. And you can't fix MacBooks if you're on vacation. Let's revive this little setup over here. Fine, f you. I'll use the damn normal iron. Piece of shit. Okay. Let's grab the excess solder on that. We're gonna do a little bit of a scrape, a scrape, a scrape over here. A scrape, a scrape, a scrape. Uh 
I'll use a big iron. Now, before we replace that stuff, I'm going to look up what it's for. I'm kind of curious. We can open up a schematic for this ancient 820-3437. So what we have here is the 1.05 volt PCH HSIO switch. I'm guessing high side in and out, maybe? So this is going to take PP5ESO and turn it into PP1VO5SO. Or is it? Or no, this is going to take PP1VO5SO in the drain. Okay, the switch is powered by 5 volts. It's going to take PP1VO5SO and turn it into PP1VO5SOSWPCHSIO. It's going to take PP1VO5SO and take it, turn it into PP1VO5SOSWPCHSIO. PP1VO5SOSWPCHSIO. Uh, try saying that three times fast. Anyway, that's, that's above my pay grade to do. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to put another PCHHSIO, whatever the shizzle hell that thing is called over there, and then it's probably going to work again. That's how he does. That's how I does. Did an L just say that he crushed something while reassembling it? Yeah, we don't put the MacBooks for sale on the site just because Selling them is kind of a miserable... Selling used MacBooks online sucks, kind of. You know, people can't see the condition. If they don't, if they like try it and they decide they don't really want it after trying it, you, you have to deal with shipping and all that shit rather than just, okay, let's put it back in the case. Yeah. We d also, we don't have enough to really sell them online, so... We s it, well, they're in the window. They're local only, I'm afraid. Alright, now we're going to see if we have any more of that silliness of quarter fan spin. I'm just going to cool off the board with some rapid cool technology. Wait, for the $150 or so that Hacko sells these tubes for, it really sucks that I have to use packing tape to hold them together. Disgusting. Alright, so what we're going to do now is see if this thing actually works and gives a or it gives us quarter fan spin. It went from, oh, here we go. What? Fan spin. Now remember, this is a 3437, so it's going to turn on, off, on, off, on, off, then on. But it is doing what it's supposed to do. So we did fix this board. The issue that we were having with this board, as you can see over here, is that we had corrosion from that little spider that jumped out of the machine on U8005 and C8005. So 1.05 volts for the SOSW PCH HSIO blah, 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 was not there. And because we were missing the voltage for the blah, 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 it wasn't working, but once we got the voltage back to the piece of pest, whatever the hell it is, it worked again. That's really all it takes. You don't need a brain to get a working MacBook. You just need your eyes, soldering iron, microscope, maybe a little bit of brain, but less brain than most people think. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. This video is brought to you by our sponsors at store.rossmangroup.com. Thank you for supporting our sponsors that help keep us in business. On store.rossmangroup.com, you can find chips, supplies, ultrasonics, flux, soldering stations, and more. With 4.9 stars on Shopper approved, same-day shipping from New York City, and free continental shipping over $30, you can't lose. We even offer free support, unless you're a please bro, live chat, and are adding new products every day. If you buy today, we'll throw in a special offer that your order will actually go through properly. What are you waiting for? Go to store.rossmangroup.com to get yourself some authentic Amtec Flux. 
Don't delay. Buy today. Excellent at data recovery, not the best cameraman. What happened, Steve? Dude, you lost your MacBook box right on my fucking stomach. Oh. What do you think is gonna happen if you're standing there? It's a but you didn't run through it, you went through it and pushed through it. Jesus.